Ooh, child. Oh my goodness, y'all. I won't say it's a mess, but mm, okay, look. We made it there. We're at the place and everything. Two minutes to flipping uh, spare. Two minutes to spare. Open it. We got in. Long story short, I ended up. Hey y'all, it's your girl Fumi Lyle. <laughs> I don't even know if this is gonna be the intro. Who knows? If it is, uh, like the video, helps other people to see it and subscribe because you have dope content on this channel. But it's literally 1 a.m. and I'm like packing. I have some other footage. So I don't know if this would be in the intro if I'll start off with this. I don't know. Um, but anyways, yeah, bro. It's like 1 a.m. and I'm still like packing, sorting through clothes. Some clothes I've had since high school. A lot of the clothes actually since high school so i'm just like really trying to get rid of them but um we thank god i've been able to like maintain them so they still look they're still in great condition but yeah somebody else will be able to now make use of them but anyways yeah i'm trying to do deep clean and i want to think about like oh you know is this something that i feel like fits the type of style that i want to have or the style that i feel like i have in terms of like the clothes i like to see online when i'm on like pinterest or instagram instagram or like things that i i see myself wearing like my best self whatever um well no need to put quotations but for real like things uh, is this who i want to who i want to be like my best self do i envision myself dressing like this a b c or d so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to get rid of <laughs> some of the options that i have to kind of be bumming it you know some of them not all of them but get get rid of a lot of my bummy outfits um and the thing is not all of them are really bummy but i don't know i just it's sometimes it's analysis paralysis where it's like if you got too many choices you just fail you're gonna choose something wrong or something just easy or go to like i really be wearing the same things all the time except except at night well but pre-covid at night you know <laughs> your girl was your girl was out here she was not trying to play i was trying to serve some looks. I was trying to be be a little baddie or whatever, you feel me? But during the daytime, I gotta admit, I be dropping the ball and I wanna work on that. Um, Cause like, unless it's like a, unless I'm going somewhere special, I really don't be dressing up like that. But I want to be dressing up at least a little bit more or just looking more cleaner. If not, if not like dressing up, just like looking more put together to like run errands, go to the mall or things like that. Just looking a little bit more like streamlined and clean and put together a little bit. But you know, it's it's slow steps, slow but steady steps. And yeah, I've done a, a, good, a good amount of clothes, got rid of, uh, well, sorted through and put to the side. So, whew. I gotta think about whether I wanna just mail them home or I don't know, like wait until um, my family come and visit me in DC and then give it to them whenever they come and visit me. But it's still, it's a lot of clothes though. It's a lot of clothes or like, what do I wanna just like give to like Goodwill versus like home from like my mom to give to people. So it's just like, I don't know. It's a lot to figure out, but I gotta hurry up because I got work tomorrow morning and I, I gotta work work like there's stuff to do for me to do on my project so I can't I can't really BS you know. It's freaking 6.59, bro. I'm tired, um, I'm beat. And I really should film like two more videos. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. 
okay. Yeah, I'm out. Look at me, I just zoned out. I didn't even know this was on. Okay, y'all, hey. <laughs> Ooh, child, oh my goodness, y'all. I won't say it's a mess, but, mm. okay, look. So, long story short, if I can even, if I can even do that, I ended up not moving today, okay. So I was supposed to move today, everything is set, you know, but then things just weren't set. I thought, me, I, I really thought I was about to move. I thought I was pretty much done. So did my roommate, you know what I mean? But the things that re were remaining, though they seemed to not be much, they really threw me for a loop. The time I undid my bed and like all the small things, like I thought would only take a little bit yeah it was something well no no no. i still could have moved on time but the reason is that bruh the people who had like their moving carts that you put the moving boxes on to like move it around the little cart thingies somebody checked it out uh, not yesterday because technically it's the next day now but yeah basically yesterday somebody took it out and they never brought it back today and so until like after nine meanwhile the storage place they closed at 10 so it was like the concierge they had said they were gonna call allegedly let me not say allegedly but she said that it went straight to my roommate's voicemail but i just told my roommate i said look i'm just gonna go there because you know something's gotta give i gotta move um because my flight is tomorrow <sighs> okay um so by that time it's 9 30 then she's asking me for id and i'm like bro really because I didn't come with the ID and I'm like, well, I'll, I'll bring it back. I'll bring it back with the ID. Like, you know, I've been waiting for this all day because I came earlier in the day asking her about it. And she told me how somebody took it and they still haven't brought it back. And I was like, okay. My roommate even called and was like, let us know. Like when they're, you know, it's just, oh my goodness. It was, it was so, so <laughs> it was, look, when I tell you that today was something, let me, let me read you, me and my roommates text. Because it was so funny. What'd she say? <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. Let me tell you. Okay, hold on. Let's start. Let me start from the from the top. So I told her when that I was finishing and up finishing up because at a certain point, I'm not gonna lie, I started taking my time because I was like, bruh. Because the thing is I can move very quickly. I've done it. Although I've never moved with like actual furniture before, like big furniture. I never done that, but but still, I could have done it. I could have done it, but what took me so much time is I really did a thorough clean of like, do I need this versus have I just been taking this from place to place, you know? Even when I go to my next place, I'm gonna still do a thorough clean because I told you guys the goal is to have less, um, ideally, or just essentials. But I will still buy stuff. I don't, don't even, you feel me? Don't even be like, oh, I thought you said, because I'm gonna do it. I know I'm gonna still buy stuff, but still, as things are coming in, stuff should be going out, you know? But anyways, back to the situation at hand. Let me tell you, so I, as I, I was like kind of taking my time a little bit, I was like basically just, I told, I told my roommate, I was like, I'm basically just finishing up because we already went to U-Haul and everything like that. That was a whole nother shindig. And honestly, I could have got my moving boxes at U-Haul because they were cheaper. I don't know if they were as big as mine, but they were cheaper. Like, y'all, I'll put in some footage because I'm like, dang, I should've got some boxes there. And I got a mattress bag to put my mattress in. But okay, so I texted my, my roommate, I said, basically finishing up, should be ready to go by 8.15 latest. So she said, that's tight. It, might, it may take a minute to move everything in the van. I'm gonna go and see if the dolly thing is available. And I said, good point and okay, thank you. She said, can you cut the air off? It's blowing nothing but hot air. I call the concierge, they're supposed to reach maintenance. I said, okay, we'll do. She said, wasting our money. <laughs> then she tells me saying, the dolly thing is still nowhere to be found. The woman at the concierge said someone borrowed it yesterday and never returned it. This is a disaster. This, <laughs> <laughs> this is like um after i had checked it originally you know when because right after we came from u-haul i went to go get the dolly and they, then she told me that so then um so that's why my roommate is saying it's still nowhere to be found and then i texted back ah dramatics um but very much needed i said i saw someone moving on the floor yesterday night but i don't know what happened 
um, and I don't know what apartment they went to. No, I said, but I don't know what apartment they went to. And I said, I'm, I'm just holding, hoping they'll return it by eight. And I said, if not, I'm gonna ask the front desk people to search them up and call them because this is ridiculous. They shouldn't allow people to keep them overnight. And then she was telling me they don't know who took it. Then I said, I was still texting. I was like, especially when I booked to move today at <laughs> SMH. And she said there were two of them. And I was like, uh, and I was just describing like who I saw or whatever. And then she said, the U-Haul that was out there is gone now. And then I texted loud, L-A-W-W, -W, three, five, five Ds. <laughs> and I did the fainting gif. <laughs> it's so funny. No. <laughs> It's so funny to me. And she said, not ours, the, there was one on the street. And I was like, yeah, I know. I said, I'm nervous that, that that means that they left without returning it. I'm hoping for a speedy return by eight, SMH. And she said, that's in 20 minutes. And I said, I serve a God of miracles. <laughs> and then she was like, amen, hopefully it will work out. If not, we got big problems to God's ears. <laughs> but um, okay, so anyways, <sighs> We ended up not getting it until around, after 9.30 was when we actually got the dolly. Mind you, the place closes at 10. Mind you, we still have to load the stuff on the dolly. Bring it, bring it to my apartment, and then roll the stuff on the dolly, and then bring it down to where the U-Haul is. It's just, it was a lot, and we made it. We made it there. We were at the place and everything. Two minutes to flipping uh, spare. Two minutes to spare. Opened it, we got in, but then when it was time to hit, but we the it, the problem was we loaded everything onto the the dollies or whatever the moving carts, and then by the time we got in the elevator, it was like three minutes after ten. So when I put in the code, guess what? Guess what that junk told me? Access denied. <laughs> I said, I said no. This is right after I give my my roommate a high five saying we did it, girl. Access denied, bruh. Like, oh my, God. I was like, oh man. It was just, ugh. And then we just kinda like, you know when you just, oh gosh. So now we had to load everything back in the, the truck, the whatever, the van. Ended up going to Giants, getting some snacks. Because, mind you, I still have something to do for one of my projects, possibly even two, but the second project, I don't think I, I think I could get away with not doing it yet. Um, yeah, bro, I don't know about that, but I know one of my projects is definitely have something to do today. Um, the other one, I'm just supposed to start something and have like, you know, whatever. But this one is like, it's due, it's a deliverable. Um, oh, so, so I can, so I got some snacks there, you know, try sugar to keep me up or whatever. Um, Cause my mindset is I'm headed home, so I'm I am definitely kind of like splurging in the eating aspect of things. <laughs> but it definitely affects I you know now I know how things go and I know it affects my energy levels and how I feel. So um, okay, long story short, uh, it's not gonna last because I now we came back then we now had to load more stuff because we only we only loaded a couple of things because the time wasn't on our side. So we only loaded like a couple of my boxes, which is a lot of boxes. I have a lot of boxes, so it was a lot of boxes we loaded. And so we had to load some more with the bed and everything like that, that took time. And then we were talking about, okay, well, what time can we go and put it into storage tomorrow? Because mind you, you know, we both still have work. I still have this project that I had to do tonight. Then I still gotta clean here, you know what I mean? Before I leave, I have to do, uh, you know, clean the apartment, like in terms of cleaning the bathroom and um, vacuuming, making sure there are no stains, uh, taking care of anything on the wall. So it was just, and then plus, I wanna see if I can ship some of the clothes that I don't want anymore home versus waiting for whenever my mom comes to visit to in DC to give her the stuff so that I don't have to keep carrying it from place to place because you know, I just can't, I can't, I'm tired. Um, it's making me feel claustrophobic. I don't want to, you know, that much clothes or whatever that I'm not even wearing. Um, but anyways, yeah bruh. So moral of the story is my roommate was like, girl, this is a lot for you to do, you know what I mean? And you don't even have to do it. Again, once again, the common theme is I keep trying to rush to leave <laughs> and go home 
but what is the rush i have this apartment till the end of the month might as well you feel me um but i, I very much do want to go home um but i do i did also have a feeling because i called my mom and i was like i don't know if i should leave i feel like i should stay and look at more apartments and or just like run some more errands it, it still feels a little bit rushed you know very much rushed honestly i still feel like i need more time and my body too doesn't even want to rush you know i'm very much like okay you know whatever happens happens go with the flow although at one point this when the lady wasn't giving me the cart when i i don't think i told you guys because i didn't come with the my id and my roommate then had to i had to wait till my roommate came because that that caused more time I had to wait till my roommate came because now they were asking for ID since the other people had it overnight, you know, and didn't bring it back. But I'm like, that, that's neither here nor there. But anyways, other than that, I did get a little bit <laughs> annoyed then. But um, other than that, I've been pretty much go with the flow or whatever. And just very much like, it is what it is, you know. And I realized it is really what it is because there is no need to rush. But I love that we're so essentially we're we're gonna we're gonna move in the morning but my roommate's like oh you know like are you you know can you change your flight are you thinking about changing your flight do you want to do this because you're talking about you still got some project stuff to do and literally that's what i'm doing my laptop is literally right here <laughs> right next to me i'm very much um working on the things that i had to do for work because you gotta think like throughout the week i'm anticipating moving on monday so I'm just packing and sorting through th different things. It really, I don't know why it took so long this time. I think it's just because I was sorting stuff because there's no reason that it should take that long. It's like, I have a lot of stuff, but I don't have that much stuff. I think it's just the thought process of me sorting through things. And at the same time I'm working. And at the same time, I'm also like, you know, doing my own personal stuff, you know, and ha having me time in terms of watching YouTube videos or editing videos myself, you know? So it's a, it's a lot of different factors. And also because I'm not really like rushing and like frantic about it. I'm just kind of like, hmm, you know? Um, but yeah, so long story short, I just checked and I saw that there there is another flight that I could take. Uh, I wanted to leave pretty soon, but it's looking like I have to wait a little bit. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna, I will end up waiting until the end of the month. So instead of leaving, to, cause honestly, I, I I would love to leave. It's it's what is it? It's it's 5 a.m. now. It's the next day. I would love to leave tomorrow, cause I was supposed to leave today. I would love to leave tomorrow, but. They were talking about they have to make me pay extra. So I was like, alrighty. Well, it's a no for me. So I'm leaving it in a while, but I'm still moving by stuff tomorrow. So the difference is now, instead of waking up at 6.30 in the morning tomorrow to move my all my stuff beforehand and then rushing to try to go to FedEx and mail things in FedEx and pull up, put together, ugh, yeah. Instead of doing that, we're gonna wait until like four, till 2.30 tomorrow. Instead of 6.30 in the morning, now it'll be 2.30. But um, it's 5.17 right now. I'ma finish up my, my work for work. And then I'ma try to catch some sort of nap before my meeting. And then I'ma try to catch a little, a little nap again after the meeting, do some more work, but I also wanna finesse the stuff that will need to be like shipped to FedEx. Um, if, if I do end up shipping with FedEx, but I just wanna just make sure everything is like sealed properly and properly packaged. But yeah, I don't know y'all, I don't know. But I just think the moral of the story is that I'm not meant to leave yet, that I, I, there's still stuff to do. And my mom was telling me, don't come here. <laughs> if you're not finished over there, what is the rush? And I don't know, what is the rush? But yeah, y'all, it's after five in the morning. Let me hurry up, finish my project stuff, and then go to sleep. Ooh, yeah, you see my, <laughs> my, my, little, my little hairs coming out, poking out. Let me go ahead and cover that up. Well, but now, I packed up my bed, and the thing is, I packed up my bed and everything, like my room is empty. 
my room is literally empty so i'm but my roommate um has like a well our sofa is like a futon i guess that's what they call this i don't know bruh so she said i can lie on this one so i just brought it to my um i brought it to my room so yeah i don't even got no covers but i got my pillows that i plan on even throwing away because these are really throw pillows like the de decoration pillows that you don't put your head on but i don't want these anymore so i'm putting my head on these yeah <sighs> yes you guys it's very interesting <laughs> very interesting but i am happy i have more time so i can get more things done because there are more things that i wanted to do that i was like oh yeah i'm not gonna be able to do it if i leave on monday and i shouldn't have even booked the flight for monday anyways or i should have been ready <laughs> i'll talk to you guys later bye